Answers to IAC Board Examination Questions Part B 2010-2017 to Part 1 Question Explain how does a consumer attain equilibrium using the indifference curve analysis? It is a 6 mark question. It appeared in 2014. Similar question was asked in 2016. The question is, explain the concept of consumer's equilibrium with the help of indifference curve analysis. It carries six marks. Answer. Given the indifference map, income and prices of the two goods, the consumer is in equilibrium when he gets the maximum possible satisfaction by reaching a highest possible indifference curve. When he is in equilibrium, he will not have any tendency to rearrange his budget. Three indifference curves are shown in the indifference map. The price line is obtained from the prices of the two goods and the income of the consumer. AB is the price line. At point C, the consumer is in equilibrium because at point C, the two equilibrium conditions are satisfied. They are condition 1. Indifference curve IC2 is tangent to the price line at point C. Slope of the indifference curve is equal to the slope of the price line. Marginal rate of substitution of good X for good Y is equal to price ratio. Condition 2. The indifference curve IC2 is convex towards the origin or marginal rate of substitution of good X for good Y is diminishing. At point E, consumer cannot be in equilibrium because the marginal rate of substitution of good X for good Y is greater than the price ratio. So, the consumer substitutes good X for good Y and reaches point C. At point F, consumer cannot be in equilibrium because the marginal rate of substitution of good X for good Y is less than the price ratio. So, consumer substitutes good Y for good X and reaches point C. At point D, the consumer cannot be in equilibrium because it is beyond the reach of the consumer. The consumer is in equilibrium at point C. Equilibrium combination is C. It consists of M units of good Y and N units of good X. In this answer, the key points are the maximum possible satisfaction Equilibrium point is C. Conditions for equilibrium. Slope of the indifference curve is equal to the slope of the price line. The indifference curve IC2 is convex towards the origin. Why are E, F and G not equilibrium points? Give importance to these key points while answering this question. More answers are available in Murdul Mahadev channel. The link is given in the description.